And in Latin America, the Brazilian foreign ministry has expelled Nicaragua's ambassador in a tit-for-tat response to a similar move by the Central American country. Brasilia said the Nicaraguan envoy had already left the country while Nicaragua said ambassadors of both nations have left their positions. Now this comes as souring relations between the formerly allied left-wing governments deepen into a fresh diplomatic feud. Two weeks ago, Nicaragua's government protested that the Brazilian ambassador skipped an official ceremony in the capital city of Managua. The celebration on July 19th marked the 45th anniversary of the Sandinista revolution that eventually led to Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega's coming to power in the 1980s. Local media reported that Brazil's ambassador was not the only diplomat absent from the event. Nevertheless, Nicaragua asked him to leave the country, leaving Brazil to reciprocate on Thursday. A rift between Ortega and Brazilian President Luis Inácio Lula da Silva has grown over the last year. Once a firm supporter, Lula steered away from Ortega after the Nicaraguan president ignored a request from Pope Francis to stop his repression against Catholic clergymen. Last June, Lula tried to mediate talks between Ortega and Pope Francis to help secure the release of a jailed bishop, but it did not get a positive outcome. Their relations further declined with disagreements over Venezuela's disputed presidential election results last month. While the Brazilian president refused to accept Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro's re-election and demanded transparency, Nicaraguan leader Ortega, on the other hand, extended his congratulations to Maduro for securing a third term. Brazil has frozen relations with Nicaragua, which means a complete halt to meetings between the leaders and envoys of the two nations. Brasilia was already keeping relations with Nicaragua at a bare minimum as the Brazilian ambassador was residing in Managua only to deal with the needs of citizens from his country. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.